Sunday is Father's Day, and for those of you who don't know, the holiday actually originated right here in Spokane in 1910. So our photographer Nathan Brand went back in time with a local historian to learn more about the woman who started it all. Believe it or not, a mother is the founder of Father's Day, and it happened in Spokane. In 1909, Sonora Dodd is in church with her husband in downtown Spokane on Mother's Day. And she started to drift to her own childhood in her mind and think, well, how wonderful fathers are. How come there isn't a Father's Day? So she petitioned the Spokane Ministerial Alliance and the YMCA and other groups in town and persuaded them to believe, as she did, that fathers deserved a special day. One was created and celebrated for the very first time in Spokane, Washington in the year of 1910, third Sunday of the month of June. The reason why Sonara was particularly proud of her dad is that her dad was a single dad of six kids. Uh, Mom passed away very early in her childhood. Uh, there is a plaque in front of the house where Mrs. Dodd lived all of her adult life uh, at the bottom of the Perry Street Hill, the only private home anywhere in eastern Washington declared a national historic site. In those days, she was identified as Mrs. John Bruce Dodd. Her name didn't really enter into any public conversation. She was born into a world where women did not have suffrage, where they didn't have the right to vote, they didn't have personhood. It's interesting that she had the idea uh, in 1909, saw it happen for the first time in 1910, and then labors for the next 62 years to make it happen as a national event. It was celebrated here and there and at other places across the country and various presidents declared things for a day, but nothing permanent. And Richard Nixon, then as president in 1972, just before we got the Expo World's Fair here in Spokane, we're standing by her headstone upon which is engraved the year 1978. So she lived a few years when Father's Day was a national holiday. We can all take this holiday to heart, and we can be grateful that a woman by the name of Sonora Dodd in Spokane thought enough of her dad to create a national holiday that give us all a reason to say thanks, Dad.